Halloween time at the Disneyland Resort is the second most busiest time of the year at the happiest place on earth. Let me show you all of the attractions, entertainment, and Halloween locations and give you the best information on how to make the most of your Halloween visit. Greetings, fellow citizens of Halloween Town. Ricky here. It's your Disney California Adventure Halloween Guide. Halloween at DCA is different than across the Esplanade at Disneyland, and today's video will explain why. We have four main Halloween locations at DCA. Buena Vista Street Soundscape and Decorations means vibes and good photos. Paradise Gardens is a wonderful cultural celebration with Coco and DCA's Day of the Dead offerings. Avengers Campus is light on decorations, but heavy on thrills with Monsters After Dark. And the headliner is Halloween, where Cars Land has become Disneyland Resort's best Halloween location. Today's video is divided up into chapters. Skip around to the parts you need to know more about. Halloween Attractions. DCA has three Guardians of the Galaxy, Monsters After Dark, Mater's Graveyard Jam, Boo-ree, and Luigi's Hunkin' Halloween. Let's jump in and break down what makes these attractions different during the Halloween season and the best times to ride. To save that precious Halloween time. It goes so fast. Luigi's Hunkin' Halloween has a lot of Halloween decorations and new Halloween songs. But that's basically all you're gonna get. Vibes, no alteration to the rides. It is a limited time of the year to sing along to everybody's favorite song, Pumpkin, Pumpkin, Halloween. Best time to ride this is when World of Color is happening. If you wanna see World of Color and enjoy the holiday attractions, do this. Skip the first showing of World of Color and knock out both attractions in Cars Land as well as Guardians of the Galaxy, Monsters After Dark, and then go see the second viewing of World of Color. Mater's Graveyard Jam Booey is just like Luigi's. You get a little bit of extra decorations, some different songs, but nothing really different to the ride. It's pretty light on theming, if I'm gonna be completely honest, and that is my brand. Expect light Halloween theming, nothing like what you're gonna see over at the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland and New Orleans Square, but a good time and probably something fun that little citizens of Disneyland will enjoy with the music and the extra decorations. Now over at Avengers Campus, Monsters After Dark is something that happens every evening, I think post three o'clock. It should be after dark. This is a change to the video scenes inside the attractions where big monsters are coming and going and fighting off our pals, Guardians of the Galaxy. Nothing too crazy, but an amazing theme song. Once again, if I'm being honest and giving you great advice, none of these three attractions are worthy of a special ticket or a trip. It's the culmination of everything that adds value, but these attractions are a bonus, but they're not the main draw. I mean, technically there's never a bad time to be inside of Cars Land. But at sunset, when the lights come on, that's special all year long with Shaboom. But for Halloween, when it becomes, I put a spell on you, it takes that magic, makes it seasonal, limited, which makes it a little bit more magical. So definitely, if you can make it inside of Cars Land at sunset, this is the place to be when the sun goes down. There's just an undeniable magic to Cars Land at sunset when the neon starts to take over. But even better is locations like Flo have their back sitting to the west. So you get that nice warm sunset over the back of it. Probably the best place you could take photos at sunset inside of DCA. Highly recommend it if you come out for Halloween and you're all dressed up and you want to capture the moment. But we're not done with Cars Land. We'll be back at night when it empties out to get the real beauty shots. Coco show that happens over on the edge of Paradise Gardens is an exceptional fall festival type cultural event. It's everything that's not overtly Halloween, but it does feel as if you're at a fall festival or local carnival. The way that they keep bringing up the story and bringing in new characters and the performance, it's, it's a very concise and, and quick telling of the story of Coco paired with all the songs and I love the props. I, it's amazing after a while you stop seeing the puppeteer and you only see Miguel. I'll call him by his real name this time. 
I know he's not gonna go. But I'd have to say that it's a really fun 15 minutes. You're gonna wanna probably get there to get your spot a half an hour beforehand. And it's in the corner there by, by Goofy's Flight School. If the cast members are cool, they'll let you line up 30 minutes early, but keep in mind some cast members might make you keep moving around until there's too many people to say no. Not something that's super Halloween themed, but does have that awesome feeling that you're walking through a city where you stumble upon a street fair, seeing people celebrate their culture. And maybe that culture is yours. Maybe you're just a tourist like me. Regardless, really fun show and excited to see that back. And uh, the holiday show that happens in that same spot, superb. This whole back area has become a really, really fun part of DCA, and it's kind of a dead spot. And I love when you see an area that was being underserved come back to life with the holidays. That's real holiday magic. When you can take a dead part of the park and give it a whole lot of life. Friends, you have to take a second stroll to Cars Land once it's fully dark and all the lighting packages are really working their magic. Walking up and down Route 66 and back sides of Cross Street, it really is an amazing Halloween walkthrough. Not only to discover all the different decorations, but all of the puns and fun embedded inside of this Halloween display. I mean, a really, really smart Halloween display. All the love and care that went into designing this land was repeated in its holiday displays. And this is one of two holidays. This magic happens all over again when happy holidays show up. But yeah, taking a stroll through Cars Land during the Halloween season. It's a fun game of discovery, trying to find all the different designs. And also, a lot of the decorations are reconstructed out of automobile parts. There's so many great puns in here. It's a walkthrough attraction all on its own. Not as good as Villains Grove. That's a true walkthrough attraction. But I would definitely recommend doing Cars Land, Route 66, and Cross Street. The street that intersects Route 66. The reason why they call it Cross Street is if you look at it from above, it is a giant cross. But definitely, walking in at sunset is one experience, but coming back under the full cloak of darkness, that's a whole other experience. Both, I highly recommend. Ramones is bringing it with these limited edition Halloween hoods in all the storefront windows. Now, the hoods that are normally there all have a hidden Mickey. Every single one of them has a hidden Mickey. Do these rare Halloween edition hoods have hidden Mickeys? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do that when there's not so much neon reflected in the windows. But definitely, the artistry on these classic hoods are phenomenal. A very subtle and specific Halloween detail you should try to find a couple of seconds to check out. And a great Cars Land strategy is this. Ride cars as your very, very last attraction of the day at DCA. Get in the line right before 10 o'clock. Once your ride has been completed, you'll get a very quiet and VIP walk through Cars Land where you can go a little bit slower, get those picks, and really dive into the details because they're not all covered by other guests. So yeah, Cars Land lasts, taking a victory lap after your win down Route 66, a VIP victory lap, highly recommend that one. Disney's California Adventure is a much smaller park than Disneyland, so they have to vibe a little bit harder, making it kind of hard to capture 
a solid vibe, like you can over at Disneyland. But they do go twice as hard with the soundscape and the projections. It definitely feels way more like Halloween in this park, even though Buena Vista Street's like one or two blocks too short to really feel impactful. But this has become the home of Halloween and you definitely can feel that walking up and down Buena Vista Street. If you can do the last world of color, Lukey's laughing at me. If you can do the last world of color, the best thing about that is, is you can slowly walk out of the park and really enjoy Buena Vista Street. I suggest Trolley Treat stays open an extra hour. Get a snack, maybe get some from Starbucks, sit on a bench and just listen to the Halloween soundscape. Enjoy the purple lights in the trees, as well as the projections on Carthay Circle. And know that about every five to 10 minutes, there is a thunderstorm over at the Headless Horseman. And that's a real easy spot to get good photos. Much easier to get a Headless Horseman photo than it is to get one with Pumpkin Mickey over in Disneyland. All in all, the small park is trying twice as hard because it has to. Now, I will say that it is a bit of a bum out that so much of DCA's Halloween offerings are behind the paid wall of Oogie Boogie's Bash. That being said, they hold back on a lot and add a lot of value to OBB, which I'll be doing one of these guide to videos for. I'll be there open tonight, dropping one of these the very next day. So if you have tickets to Oogie Boogie's Bash, you want to check out my guide video because I'll make sure you make the most of your visit to see Oogie this year for the Halloween season at Disney's California Adventure. But you definitely, definitely can tell that they hold back. There's not as many offerings inside of DCA for Halloween. So whereas I gave you a Halloween trail for Disneyland because it's so busy and so crowded and has so many villains and so much to offer as far as dark rides and dark imagery, this park is more of a Halloween stroll and roll. You go to the areas that have the theming, you enjoy it as you're strolling and rolling over to your next destination. Because there's three attractions here that are themed for Halloween, but none of them are that spectacular. None of them even come close to what you get with Haunted Mansion Holiday. So, stroll and roll park, stroll past them, Enjoy the Halloween decorations on your way to what you would normally do at Disney's California Adventure. I, I'm, see, I'm not lying. The vibe is wild here with the soundtrack and all the lighting. Absolutely nailed it. Friends from the edge of Cars Land, thank you so much for going on this adventure with me. I hope you enjoyed our look at all things DCA Halloween. I have a video just like this for everything to do over in Disneyland that includes a Halloween trail that I curated for you, how you and your family can go out and have an amazing Halloween night, doing a lap that I designed all around Disneyland, hitting all the different spooky parts of that park. And I have a video coming up to give you a complete guide to Oogie Boogie's Bash. I've been more than most. I love that event. I'll be here for the opening and dropping a video the very next day, giving you a complete guide of how to make the most of your Oogie Boogie Bash 2022. Thank you so much to my friends at Club 1313 for watching and thank you for showing up. Friends, until the next time I hear you say, hey, Bricky in the park, I'll see you back here with more Disneyland and Halloween fun.